Hello, has and has some users back. Now, if you're wondering from what I am saying here, how I said that with a film with so many emotional moments didn't affect me and just made me so angry, I'm not going to go more into that. Talk about. I'll leave the previous review in the link in the description. If that made me feel angry, what can make me cry? Well, at the end of, of the review, I stated that a video game made me cry. And this video game is such an ex a unique, crafted, a uniquely crafted experience. And it's even more wondrous that the people who made it used this sort of medium to show the world how they dealt with what was going on in their lives. That game is That Dragon Cancer, and this is a very unique game, and I gotta give so much credit for, for, two, for the couple that made this, because they really, this is just so, they didn't have to make it a, a video game, they could have just shared their experience online, but what they did to cope their grief, I applaud them so much. So, the, the game focuses, it focuses on, tells the story of a family as they, as they go through, the, shows the two cup, the couple as they deal with the cancer that's slowly killing their young, their young child, their young son, and it's, and how it affects the whole family and almost, in more particular, the parents. Now, the other children are, are shown in it, but not much, it's just most effects on the journey through the highs and lows of this couple as they try to help their son. Now, let me start off by saying that what, this is a very unique sort of game, because while well, this is my sound reality, it did actually happen, and there are places in it that you would see around your everyday neighborhood. You've got parks, you've got hospitals, you've got churches. But it's all the same as the distant world. Like, yes, you can imagine it, but it's even more like it's in a dream. And the ending, which I think you can all guess what happens, is sort of is maybe more set in a end, in sort of just the fair. I don't know what I can say, with how it's set, but let's just say it's set in this gateway. It's sort of set within this gateway, like a farewell to something. One last glimpse, like you're sort of in the path, you're walking through the past, but finally you get to the end, and you can embrace a new start. That's so beautiful. The voice recordings are taken directly from a report from the family and in, uh, pretty much the whole journey, their whole journey, their whole, they record their whole journey and put it in and use the first game, which is strange, which is really powerful that they were, that these people, this family actually decided to do that, that's so amazing, but it's a point, now this is a point and click game, you don't really move that much, I mean you use the keyboard to move up, well, pretty much forward and back if you want, but in the end, but you're mostly using your your mouse just to to interact with everything, like touching characters to hear their own opinions, moving things around, just doing that, doing, making certain actions happen. You don't really know what is going to happen at each turn. And there's so many impressive moments and it, like. One time you've got a, uh, a sort of a go-kart track as part in it, and other time in another one you got a sort of a arcade with the a Wizards and Warriors, Warriors style um, a platformer. That's pretty cool, I must admit. I mean, I never played Wizards and Warriors in the series, but I imagine games made by Rare would always be good. Now, I don't now, the 
care the models of the humans. You don't they are basic, but you know what? I don't care. Saying as well, I can see why. There are a lot of um in-game notes in this thing. Sprinkling around every sort of main area of the game. Like in this one part where you I think they're at the seaside and trying to get to this lighthouse, there are multiple notes. And it's just letters of the family. Um family talks about the other you know, member that's been from family about what's going on with our struggles. It's I will I will I will want I won't lie this is I think most people who play it the first time, in fact, there might be some people who play it only the first time, like in Australia, like that, and probably go back to one day, but those who play the first time are going to skip them. I wish they could have maybe, I don't know, maybe put it as a side part with the notes. I mean, not all of them, but some you can remain in the game, but you can. You could have maybe put them in a separate menu at the start, like. All these notes that you collect, you can read back in the mark you finish. That would have been a good idea, but again, that's, that's just me being picky. It's just... The colours in this game are very handled well, and... I feel like this may just be one close to being the most... One of the most colourful games I've ever played, and... And, yeah, it's just... Really good. I'm not sure if I can call it beautiful, but it's one of my most beautiful. I mean, it looks great to be honest. I mean, but it's definitely the most colorful. That got the best use of colors, in my opinion. Well, one of the best uses of colors, but definitely uses colors very well. The suspense is also handled really well in the game. Like the one part, the part that made me cry the most. Uh, I I do not want to talk about it here because I don't want to spoil it. But, you know, as I said before, you know what's going to happen, but the way you don't want it to happen. So, every time it gets to the suspenseful point, you just pray that, you can, that things will work out. And in some ways it does, but it always leaves an extra problem in the way that keeps on affecting everyone. It's just so... I... I find the ending uh, very sad but joyful that it's over and it's, there's no more suffering. It's so perfect. I can't think of any real flaws in it. I mean, yeah, I can, maybe I did say that I could have liked them, the letters pla placed be optional, like, an optional menu or add on, but outside of that, it's like. I don't know words for it. I don't know other words for it. Just brilliant. For a while, this was I gotta say this is one of my favourite indie games, and definitely one of my favorite video games in general. But I think my favourite indie game may have been not this position my favourite game made by independent developers may have been just passed. And I'll get into that then in my next review. Well, not my next review, because I've got something else I've got plans. But in the end, now I'm not sure if you can count this as a full game, but, you know, it's, but it's an experience. And it's a great experience. And one I'm really glad I decided to check it out. So for this review, uh, I'm going to give it 10 out of 10 nice stars. I might have a bit of. There's, there are some flaws, but in the end, I, it's just brilliant. And once again, I give them. I gotta say this to to the couple that made this. You two are such strong people. Like you guys must be for what you did and how you cut the grief and create this product for everyone. I cannot. You have my sincerest, my sincerest gratitude. Bravest people. The creators are some. This whole family is, must be. That has made me feel like they're some of the bravest people on earth. You dealt with it in a strong way. And you 
have given us some insight what happens when someone is struggling with cancer. I hope you all take a look at, it, at this game because it will change you. I mean, it changed me a lot, really. Um, I, I, I've got nothing else I can say, but just now, if you don't want to play it, that's okay. If, you, if you're the really emotional type, but I recommend you try. 